What's something that's secretly been great about the pandemic? Save money on gas. Not dealing with a commute. A lot of restaurants have really upped their online ordering and drive through game. People finally washing their hands. I got to spend a lot more time with aging pets. I had to put down a cat this fall but for 7 months he got to lay on my keyboard and interrupt zoom calls all day. I also have a 12 year old lab and spending this year with her all day every day has been awesome. Not seeing your toxic co-workers. Cries in hospital worker. The toxic ones became more insufferable since they are some of the only people I see now. I am a recovering alcoholic. Spending most of my time at home exploring my hobbies. Attending virtual counseling. And rebuilding relationships with my loved ones has helped me to realize that no substance has ever given me so much contentment. And I honestly never want to give up what I have now. In 4 weeks. I will be celebrating my 2 year sobriety anniversary. The grass, underneath the foot of snow, has never seemed greener. Playing board games with my teenage kids. We got away from it as they got older. I still kick ass on Scrabble. But they smoke me on backgammon. Ticket to ride is a blast. Yahtzee 2. Edit. While this certainly resonated with the community. To answer a few questions. We don't play every night. A couple of times a week is where we're at now. We have more modern games. But backgammon and Yahtzee especially Yahtzee is the one they like to play the most. Monopoly. When played without house rules is fun. It probably won't last when things go back to normal. So I'm loving it while it lasts. Thanks for the awards. Cleaner beaches and ocean in Hawaii if millions of tourists stayed home. Of course the economy went to shti. But the aloha assassin are prospered. I now permanently work from home. Which is amazing. Saved a lot of money not going out or traveling. Don't get me wrong. I'm not happy about it and far rather would have spent it. But I do have more money. I haven't had a cold all year. I'm missing a tooth fairly close to the front of my mouth and I don't feel self-conscious smiling in public when I'm wearing a mask. It's a silly thing. But I kinda missed real smiles. Thanks for the awards. Guys. My most liked commented comment is about my ed up teeth. That's. Something. 1. I read missing a tooth fairy too. Same. Without a social life. I've been forced to focus on myself instead of other people so I've cut down on my drinking. Lost 35 pounds. And started seeing a therapist. No pressure to go somewhere on my days off. I don't feel like I'm wasting time when I have days off and don't spend them traveling or seeing people. I love staying at home and just hanging with my two cats. Sweatpants on. Messy bun. Junk food and games. I'm sick a lot less often. The kids are doing school entirely from home so they don't bring crap home like they used to. Finding out that not everyone needs to trudge for over an hour or more to get their job 5 days a week. That it's possible to work from home perfectly fine. Edit. Yes. I know not everyone can work from home. Some people have to go in. This is why I specifically stated not everyone. Also thanks for the awards. See. My employer now knows for sure that working from home is completely doable and really doesn't up productivity. I've also learned that I like going into the office once or twice a week just to break up the monotony of working from home all the time. I can mouth obscenities at people and they don't have a clue. Contactless delivery. My wife loves the pandemic because she gets to work from home. So no more commuting to work. She has basically gotten back 2 hours of her day. Southern California traffic. Freeways basically wide open for the last year. My 14 year old dog passed away last July. Our whole family had been working schooling from home full time starting in March. So we all got to love on her and care for her full time for her last months. 
I have now learned that I don't lack time to do things. Spending time with my dog. I'm an NZ so super lucky. When it first hit we locked down for 4 weeks. I'm self employed so the government gave me a wage subsidy. Like 30% of my normal income but plenty to live on. Best bit is I was renovating my house at the time. So I got paid to renovate my own place for 4 weeks. Comma 4 weeks. Cries an American. Sleep. My caution and anxiety about people can be successfully hidden by the pandemic. I am not forced to be overly social and can more successfully avoid crowded areas. Let me tell you. I I love not having to fake smile at everyone all the time. My daughter is medically fragile and we pulled her out of her school when COVID hit. She's only 3, 1 stroke 2. She's developmentally delayed and went to a special preschool. I was able to drop down at work and we've really been working with her. My kids get to see me more and my daughter is making wonderful improvement. She's rarely been sick this past year. It's been her healthiest year. I got a fully funded scholarship and met Jean-Michel Basquiat's studio assistant while working on a paper about him. Gave me the opening to get out of a dead-end delivery job and focus on the I actually went to school for. I'm getting there. Edit. Holy smokes. This blew up. Thank you all for the kind words and awards. Any progress at all is still progress. No matter how insignificant it may seem. Edit. Well I went to sleep and this blew up massively. Thanks everyone for the awards and kind words. People have been able to spend more quality time with their children and pets. It has provided some pretty definitive proof that there is no reason for me to have to go into the office. Not that I mind being there all that much. I just hate commuting. Having a mask on in the cold is low-key the best. Not having my meal at the hospital when I gave birth. I have a 14 month old daughter, born in January 2020. Had I been commuting to work every day, I would have missed out on a lot of her early months of development and wouldn't have the bond with her that I do. Also used the time to teach my 4 year old son to ride a bike. And went on some awesome bike rides with him. We were locked to a 5 km radius for a while and we got to know our neighborhood really well. Made rafts and floated them down the creek. Harassed a lot of bull ants and jumped in a lot of puddles. Not shaking hands. I have panda hyperhidrosis, sweaty palms, and I'm always nervous about shaking hands. I try to manage it. But it is always a stressor. No more. I have a daughter. She's 2 now and I used to work at Taco Bell as a manager and would get off work around 4 stroke 5 in the morning. Barely had any time for myself let alone school. When the pandemic happened some of her father's family members became home more, we lived with them, and I was able to start and finish a medical office administration program and now I'm certified working as a medical billing assistant 9-5 and my graduation is in April. Working from home. Always dressing casual. Having more time to pursue hobbies. I live in New York City. My neighbor and I started spending every day together. After 6 months of lockdown I joked that she should move in with me. A couple months later she did. A few months later we kissed for the first time and it's been amazing ever since. Not having to see my in-laws. I know I can't speak on behalf of all workplaces but having employers managers take employee wellness a little more seriously now. Back then at my place of work. If you had a bad cold or some flu symptoms. They'd still want you in on your shift regardless. But now with COVID and some state legislation that has passed. My managers now get really concerned if we start feeling ill and urge us to take time off. No company holiday parties. My company. Instead of springing for the annual holiday party and summer picnic and other social nonsense. Has delivered us monthly care packages. So far we've had an oatmeal box, 
gourmet toppings and go withs plus a pack of local steel cut oats. A hot sauce box full of brands I'd never heard of. A charcuterie box, some assembly required. A grilled cheese box, included a grill pan even. Comma and a tabletop s'mores box. Another other fun things. Our team Slack has a channel devoted to the discussion about the monthly boxes baskets. My girlfriend and I use the inability to go out to start cooking at home and dieting. In 6 months we have lost a combined 102 pounds so far. Now we are adding exercise and changing our habits. I got furloughed from a store position in March. Got on unemployment. Got paid to play video games until July. And just as my unemployment was set to run out. I came back on in an office position from my couch. Working less hours for the same pay. Somehow I've come out on top of all this. My savings have skyrocketed and I don't have to see people anymore. Win 9 win. Not having to pay for that expensive wedding on a different continent and doing it on zoom instead. Mortgage deposit nearly sorted as a result. Edit. I haven't been told I'd look prettier if I smiled in like a year. It's kinda awesome. I've worn a bra no more than 15 times this year. This has really been the year to free the titties. Me learning bunch of new things I wouldn't have during the pandemic. I got good at 3D printing. 3D modeling. Art. And coding so it's been a hella fun ride and I'm still learning a bunch of different things. Being able to sneak in domestic tasks during the workday since IWFH permanently now. The dishes get done daily. Clothes washed more often. Mentally I think overall working from home just suits me. I wear what I want. I don't need to appear busy to co-workers. I can have podcasts. Music or YouTube blaring and I can post on reddit with ease and best of all I have been productive f with my job since probably working with my company despite what appears to be me slacking off listing the above. I lost my husband before the pandemic hit. My daughter was daddy's little girl. This whole year has been us bonding again. She's 5. Her whole life has been hard. I'm disabled. We were homeless. My son who has a different father didn't allow him to be in the shelter with us. This is the first time in her life where I'm not hospitalized. We have a stable roof over our heads and have time for each other after all the absolute chaos of the first 4 years of her life. Also my son was with me for 6 full months without having to go back to his dad's. Honestly for my family. It was a blessing in disguise. Um. Interest rates? Got over my body dysmorphia and gained a ton of confidence. I was now this close to having an eating disorder. Now I love myself and my hobbies more than ever and will never go back to that state again. People stay the FCK away from me. Giving up on stuff. Being able to get out of awkward small talk by pretending I don't recognize someone because of their mask. I don't have to smell anyone's dirty nasty try mouth breathing anymore. Doing school at home so that when study hall comes around. I can do whatever I want in my own home during my break time. Not having to shower every day. Now that I'm not working. I now have time to shower every day. It's super luxurious. I a other benefit I've never heard before. Actually sleeping 8 hours. Less dumb drivers. Normalizing working from home. Creativity has flourished us on your music. New films. New ratings are sub course people have time to commit. I'm still working. And have been since the pandemic started. So it's been life as usual for me. I did lose a dear friend of mine to suicide. Though. And I can't wait for this thing to be over. Well, I'm an essential worker. So life actually got tear for me. I didn't get any breaks in work. And actually started working more. I know this isn't what the post asked. But bruh. The pandemic made me go from not liking people to straight up loathing them. My brother-in-law dies in his 30s. And my dad's best friend dies in his early 50s. 
and these dumb motherers can't put as mask on for 10 minutes while in the store? If anything good comes from the pandemic. Hopefully it's anti-maskers dying. I don't feel as bad about being poor since so many people lost everything they had. And I can stay home as much as possible and nobody's making me feel bad about it. It's been a surefire way to help identify Thai people. If there's someone I know who is refusing to wear a mask, they're a Thai person. No ifs ands or buts. Chipped two of my teeth on Christmas night but thanks to COVID I can hide behind my mask confidently until I get them fixed. I had been the student in school that was trying to be the class clown but all my jokes were cringy as hell. And I was 12 when quarantine started. And my voice was about the same as when I was 9. Quarantine really gave me the chance to mature myself. And my voice had dropped by about 2 octaves. And I had got about an inch or two or three taller in that year. So. Honestly. Quarantine really saved me from more humiliation. From an oldest person? We're all pretty cringy at that age. The people you don't think are cringy have all kinds of insecurities you're completely unaware of. Puberty is a wild time in human development. Be kind to yourself and others. We went on lockdown. I went on unemployment and started making double what I normally made. I was able to pay off my credit cards fully which led me to buy a house in October. Which then led me to rescue a dog in November. I gained weight. At 4 feet 11. I shouldn't have been at 83 pounds when the pandemic hit but before that I was constantly working. Whether it was my job or errands or getting stuff done around the house. I'm proud to say I'm now at 125 pounds and I've never felt better. I got to spend mad time with my newborn. This is selfish but my oldest son should be away at college. We moved mid senior year, got out of the military, and he stayed with a friend to graduate so I miss time with him. He would like to be independent but secretly he likes homemade meals and someone doing his laundry no he is a great friend to me. He attends the college online and will move away this summer instead. Also my husband used to work a half hour away. In WA the winters can be rough. Especially because he works nights. Now oh, he just walks downstairs to his office. His job is permanent at home now. My grades in online school are a bit better than in person. The mask cover my tired face so I don't have to wear makeup when I go out. I don't like human interaction. I genuinely think this is the first thing humans as a species have experienced together across the globe. Through so much of human history. There was pretty much always whole countries or continents not involved and or oblivious to certain things. But this might have been the first thing that we all have gotten through or are getting through together. And that's cool. Lots of people are dead. But it's still so cool. Last part is a joke because I literally can't help myself. But the point remains the same. I get to see my teenagers a lot more. It's normal to be a functioning alcoholic IA. Don't have to see certain people. Save a ton on gas BC I don't go anywhere. Not having to meet people. People not being able to touch or get too close to me. I haven't had to deal with the smell of my co-workers for over a year. When you're sitting by one guy who smells like sour asshole. And the other who smells like an ashtray. Or worse. They put their vice on the iron table. Open. And I have to smell it. It's enough to make me want to wear my mask after the pandemic is over. Thankfully the one guy who would try to secretly vape from a pen in his sweater sleeve got busted and terminated because I was so damned sick of smelling the sickening stench of cotton candy. Not having to go to mediocre restaurants to be polite. I had tons of hand sanitizer in the house when the Texas death storm knocked out my water for 4 days. Layered catastrophes for the win. I used to play a lot of team sports. Which... As an adult means late nights. I had at least 3 work nights a week that I slept less than 6 hours. I had other social events that would get me to bed as I maybe slept an average of 7 hours a night. Nothing crazy just not getting to bed till midnight. 
Now I sleep an average of 9 hours a night. No lie. My watch tells me so. Don't get me wrong. I really miss the activities and friend but holy always being well rested is amazing. Time with girlfriend. What's a girlfriend? Fewer people to distract me at work and no rush hour traffic. Online exams and online tests at university. That allow the grades to grow exponentially. At my university we use a lockdown browser where I can't open anything but the test and I must show the table I'm working at. It also keeps track of my eye movements during the test. Makes me extra nervous. I hate it. I love that most tests are open notes now. Teacher. Don't use your notes it's a closed book test. Me. With my entire binder in front of me. Haven't had to buy work clothes or pay for dry cleaning for almost a year. I had no idea how much it actually cost over the course of a full year. Donated it to the SPCA. Gun massacres are down. DUIs are down. Drunk driving fatalities are down. Carbon emissions are down. I'd bet, not positive. That a good amount of species are likely making a strong comeback from human intervention. But sadly. Violence in the family home is up. I honestly love that it's just been me. My husband. And our son for the past year. No having to go to the in-laws every weekend. No getting harassed by my mother weekly. It's been so damn peaceful. We're pregnant and I'm looking forward to having time alone with just our little family after the baby gets here. I can only speak for myself but my wife and I have saved over 20k in childcare so far. I have chronic pain and having to wear a mask makes it easier to conceal the fact that I'm in tremendous pain every day. This may not be what was intended but I'm happy about the lack of mass shootings that seem to be occurring almost daily prior to the pandemic. Without crowds. There are fewer soft targets. I guess. I just hope the decline is a trend and not just a benefit of covid. I'm not optimistic. Our ability to use the mRNA vaccine technology to vaccinate against other diseases in the future. Not being invited to a glutinous amount of children's day parties for family that I only hear from when they want a gift. I'm pregnant. Since I rarely go out and my webcam doesn't show my body. Many people have no clue even though I have an obvious bump now. Additionally. No strangers have touched my belly without my permission. In fact. It's only been touched by me. My immediate family and spouse and dog. And my healthcare providers. Plus. I can wear anything I please and don't need office cute maternity clothes. And no one can tell that my happy hour is non-alcoholic.